This is going to be, a, you know, <clears throat> I don't know how long or, or whatever, but it's going to be another example on how you, uh, you know, to apply the scriptures. And really, you should agree <laughs> with thine adversary quickly, man. You know, it's mostly Eve always gets surprised. You see that? Hey, brother, give me a thumbs up if you can hear, by the way. All right. But it's always Eve that gets surprised when something happens to him, you know, because they've been given the power on the left hand side here in Babylon. All right. And we're going to play this right here. We're going to play this and then I'll get into it. And again, please get yeah, yeah, the water for that. Malak. And again, please excuse me, because, you know, I'm still sort of experimenting with this uh, with this app and trying to figure out how to get the comment board and everything, you know, all at one time. All right. So just bear with me. I'm going to play this. <laughs> Slokia. Yeah, I'm going to play this first and then we'll get into the scriptures. Let's get after it. All right. <clears throat> Slokia. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakudash. Double honors to the elders and apostles at Great Millstone, of whom I learn from daily, you know, daily exhortation. OK, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. <laughs> Another lesson, uh, you know, from uh, from me, Gabar Adama. Oh, boy, this uh, this video just popped up in my feed. And please forgive me. The video is, is you know, this clip is sort of long. But it's sort of, you, you know, you got to you got to watch it all. You got to watch it all. OK, this right here is a prime example. On how Eve has, has uh, gained favor, you know, uh, in, in this uh, wicked queendom, Babylon. She's gained favor. But it's soon, but soon come, soon come, soon come when she figures out that they have no use for her anymore. That, now what you going to do? Wait till you see this. This is Sirach 26, verse 5. There be three things that my heart feareth. And the fourth, <clears throat> Salakia, the fourth, <clears throat> I was sore afraid. The slender of a city, the gathering, uh, the gathering together of an unruly multitude and a false accusation. All these are worse than death. Okay. But grief of, of heart and sorrow is a woman that is jealous over another woman and a scourge of the tongue, which communicateth with all. Oh boy. Verse seven, an evil wife is a yoke shaken to and fro. He that hold of her as, as he, uh, Salakia, let me read it right. Come on now. Let's get after it. He that hold of her is as though he had held a scorpion. Verse eight, a drunken woman, and a gather abroad causes great anger, and she will not cover her shame. The whoredom of a woman may be known in her haughty looks and eyelids. You see that? All right, I'll keep going just a little bit, little, just a little bit more here. Verse 10. If thy daughter be shameless, keep her in straightly, lest she abuse herself through over much liberty. Watch over an impudent eye and marvel not if she trespass against thee. All right. And please, uh, you know, Salakia, this clip is it's rather long. <clears throat> OK, again. You know, I hope you can hear me, but, uh, you know, I'm going to go ahead and play just a little bit of this clip here. And again, please forgive me. It's sort of. Oh, wow. Now I got a blank screen. Oh, there we go. Okay. This is sort of difficult. I'm doing about nine to 10 things all at one time. All right. So I'm going to play this right quick and then we'll get into the scriptures. Check this out. Okay. You can already hear the cackling in the background, right? <laughs> you can hear it in the background. Now agree with that adversary quickly, right? This is just another example. I did a video just a couple weeks ago, you know, uh, uh, along the same, uh, you know, subject here. OK, and Eve, she has she has no guidance and she doesn't want it and she's not going to take a uh, 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 correction and she's not going to uh, reference her husband. And that's the whole problem. Not being rooted in the scriptures, man. 
All right. Now, what this police officer did. Yes, it was wrong. It was wrong. Right. But this is not our arrest. This is not our arrest. This is precisely why. And I'm I, and this is precisely why you men are going to have to start, you know, uh, girding up your uh, loins like a damn man. All right. So let's play this. And I hope you can hear it. For 94, the complainant stated she'll pull a gun on the officer if he keeps approaching her. For 94, but told receiving she's going to put it away. She said. See, she said she's gonna pull a gun on him. See that? she has on her face on the screen on me now hold on now you see what happened there what happened there is the police officer had pulled in her driveway okay hey shalawam brother shalawam say it's a jersey man all you beautiful brothers and sisters on the comment board shalawam okay but what what she did if she she threw a spoon or something at the police officer all right and you know she maybe she shouldn't have done that you know but he he was in her driveway whatnot blah 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 here's the thing if you stay rooted in the scriptures, you would understand exactly what to do and what not to do. This is a prime example. I'm going to keep playing it, and then we'll get into the scriptures. What's she throw on you? What did she throw on you? I'll show it to Stop, please, you. Stop, please, man. Please, man. It's my girl, man. You're going to jail, too. What did I do? See that? What am I doing? Right now, interfering. Well, come on, man. This is my Hang girl. Tight. Come on, please. What if this was your girl, man? You're, well, my girl wouldn't act like this when they're going. I mean, come on, man, please, man, don't do this, man, please, 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 man. She's got a gun, and she's threatening to shoot us? Come on, are you kidding me? See? I understand that, but why is he here? Why were you here? Just reading emails. Hey, there's a zero on the But I understand that, but why? why? Just reading emails. But why does it have to be in our And your, your girlfriend threw whatever she had on a spoon on her face at me in the car. Okay, So we understand. waited for other officers to get I here understand. for her to go to jail. And now You see, this is not our arrest. And see what he do. He, she threw, uh, she threw a, a something. Yeah, that's right, brother. I see the comment board. I'll, I'll hit that right here in a second. Yeah. Keep me. Uh, in matter of fact, I'll read it right now. This is Saints of Jersey, too, right? All right, this is Sirach 9 and verse 13. Keep thee far from the man that have power to kill. I mean, that's perfect. And that's right on point. All right. So shall thou not doubt the fear of death. You see that? And if thou come unto him, make no fault, lest he take away thy life presently. See, remember that, right? You see, hey, that's a perfect scripture, and it was right on time, all right? So let me play the rest of this, and we'll jump back into the scriptures. This is why you have to apply the scriptures to your life, all right? You know, remember that, that goeth in the midst of snares, and that walketh upon the battlements of the city, man. You know, hey, and again, right on point from the brother Saints of Jersey, right? Mm-hmm. You know, and as a matter of fact, Saints of Jersey, you, hey, man, you inspired the name Saints of NC. If you will, please subscribe to both of those channels. OK, so let's uh, let's continue on. She's got a gun on the floor. Stand now. by the trash can. Boss. OK, I will. Something that every single one of these police officers seems to fail to okay, realize let me is pause that not that. a single one of them ever. Because I don't want I don't want his voice in there. So let's go back. And let's get this one, and then we'll get we'll jump right into the scriptures. On you? No, I'm just saying. Would it be cool if I just walked up to your car and just threw some stuff on you? You're gonna threaten to shoot the police. I didn't do that. She you did. did. Okay, I'm trying to stop her. See that? Show well, yourself to be a man. Get your house in order first. Bitch, kick me. All right, you hear what he said? He said that bitch kicked me. <laughs> All right, so let's uh, let's start uh, hit the scriptures right here, man. Let's move on down here. I'm going to get the music going. That's right, brother. All right. So let's move back. And let's go here. Let's read this first. This is Matthew 5, verse 25. Red letters. That means Jehovah is speaking, right? Agree with thine adversary quickly, whilst thou art in the way with him. 
lest any time the adversary deliver thee to the judge and the judge deliver thee to the officer and thou be cast into prison. You see that? If you apply these scriptures, see that? If you apply these scriptures, then you would know. And, and you know what? And, and, you know, in this lesson, I'm going to transfer, you know, all this. It's not going to be about Eve and how she off. No, you got to get your house in order first. Okay. Verse 26. Verily, I say unto thee, thou shalt by no means come out thence till thou has paid the uttermost farthing. You see that? Till thou has paid the uttermost farthing, right? All right, let's continue on here. This is Proverbs 27 and verse 15. A continual dropping in a very rainy day. See that? And a, uh, and, and a contentious woman are alike. All right, and again, I'm telling you, I'm getting ready. To, I'm going to parlay this into the man because yeah, it's, it's both our faults, man. You know, that we don't apply these scriptures to our lives. All right, let's see what we got on the comment board. You brothers on fire already. Mm, let's see here. Salakia. Brother Ariya. Ka'ayal, okay? This is Isaiah 51, verse 20. Thy sons have fainted. That's perfect. I actually had that on my list. Thy sons have fainted. They have lied at the head of all the streets as a wild bull in a net. They are full of the fury of the Most High, Yahweh. Okay, the rebuke of thy of thy power. You see that they full of the fury, man. They they they're uh, like a wild bull in a damn china shop, man. Okay, a wild bull in a damn china shop. You brothers are absolutely on fire. Let's go, let's go. This is Proverbs one and verse twenty four. Because I have called and ye have refused. I have stretched out my hand and no man regardeth, man, and no man regardeth. But ye have I uh, set at naught all my counsel. See that? All my counsel, man. Just like the brothers right there on the comment board. The sign and crying in the streets for the abomination in the midst thereof, man. But nobody wants to listen, but you will listen. When Yahweh Bashim Yahshua brings that heat down, you'll listen then. Let's go from the top right here. Verse 25. But ye have set at naught all my counsel. And would none of my reproof. Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear, when your fear cometh. You see that? And in the caption, it said that they busted the damn teeth out. Then he talking about, hey man, that's my girl, man. Hey, that's my girl, man. Would you do that to your good man? That's my girl, man. You see? You better gird up your damn loins like a man. The enemy is getting ready to come in like a flood. You, this is the, this is getting ready to get really real on on the battlefield. Okay, let's continue on. I hit the comment board shortly. Romans thirteen and verse one: Let every soul be subject unto the higher powers. See that? Apply these scriptures, man. For there is no power but of the Most High. The powers that be are ordained of the Most High. You see that? That's why the scripture said, agree with thy adversary quickly. He's the hammer of the earth. If, uh, you know, brother wants to put that on the combat board, he can. You see? They vessels of wrath fitted to destruction, but he's the hammer of the earth. Didn't in uh, 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 Deuteronomy 28 chapter, didn't he say, whether, or whether the Lord shall send against thee and in want and nakedness and in thirst, thirst and in want of all damn things. That's, this is why you apply the scriptures, man. Verse two, whosoever therefore resisteth the power resisteth the ordinances, the, so like you, the ordinance of the Most High. And they that resist shall receive themselves damnation. You see that? Ooh, that's fire right there. Receive themselves damnation. This is uh, Saints of Jersey. All right. All right. This is Proverbs 15 and verse 1. I think I had that on. But man, that's the spirit right there. All right. A soft answer turneth away wrath. But grievous words stir up anger. You see that right there? But grievous words stir up anger. You know, and hey, and she thought she was in good. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to shoot. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. And then all you heard was, ah! You see that? They went in and busted her damn teeth and removed her and took her to the damn judge. 
The wicked, the same brother. This is uh, Proverbs 12, verse 13. Saints of Jersey, too. Okay. Again, subscribe to the brother's channel, man. He be on fire. Woo. Let's go. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his lips. But the just shall come out of trouble. Woo -hoo -hoo. You see that? But the just shall come out of trouble, man. You see that? All right. Let's move on back here. Let's go. Uh, let's go to verse three. Romans 13, verse three. For the rulers are not a terror to good works. See that? For the rulers are not a terror to good works, but to the evil. Well, thou then not be afraid of the power. See, didn't we just read that? Keep me from the wicked man, right? Do that which is good and thou shalt have praise of the same. Apply the scriptures. You see, brothers and sisters, apply the scriptures, man. The just shall live by faith. Either you believe or you don't believe. And now what? Now she in jail. With, 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 with busted teeth. Didn't the same thing happen? What's her name? Uh, Sandra Bland. She had a big mouth. You know, and she ended up. I mean, I, hey, man, I know it's unjust. I know that. But all this come from Yahabashim Yahashai. She ended up hung in a damn jail cell, man. Come on now. She Jeffrey Epstein. All right. This is Mark 7 and verse 13. Red letters again. Yahweh Shah speaking. Making the word of the Most High none effect, though you're tr uh, through your tradition, which ye have delivered, and many such like things do ye. See that? Foolish, man. Yeah. Again, yeah, a foolish woman is clamorous. That's 100, uh, 144 percent correct. All right. Verse 14. And when he had called all the people unto him, he said unto them, hearken unto me, every one of you and understand. Now, you can't understand when you lean upon your own understanding. You're not going to be able to get it when you don't reference your husband. Again, isn't there an order? See, isn't there an order? I hope I'm not losing someone. Let's go here. This is Micah 7 and verse 10. Then she that is my enemy shall see it. Didn't she see it that day? And shame shall cover her, which saith unto me, where is the Lord Yahweh thy power? My eyes shall, be, uh, be, shall behold her. Now she shall be trotted down as a mire of the streets, man. See, again, they busted them teeth out and took a... Uh, black ass right to jail. You know, I hate to say it that way because nobody's black. So I shouldn't have maybe, maybe I shouldn't have said it like that. Salakia. Please forgive me. All right. Ephesians 5 and verse 13. Nevertheless, let every one of you. All right. In particular, so love his wife. And if he really was rooted in the scriptures, he would, he, he would know and she would know. Hey, honey, keep it down. Be quiet. You shouldn't have done nothing like that. You you out here running your mouth talking about uh, uh, I'm I'm gonna shoot them. What do you think they're gonna do? You trying to get him killed? You know you forget the, uh, they started a slave patrol. Okay, let's read that again from the top, man. It's madness. You you trying to get everybody damn uh what they call it murked? Mm hmm. Ephesians five and verse thirty three. Nevertheless, let every one of you in particular so love his wife even as himself. See, we're well, we going to get on a man, too. And uh, and the wife see that she reverence her husband. You see? But see right here on the comment board, let's get it. Saints of Jersey. Ooh, well, wait a minute, man. Let's get this first. You two brothers are killing the comment board right now. And I hope I'm still alive. Matter of fact, let me move it just a little bit and make sure it moves. All right. And it don't look like. It. Yeah, it's moving. All right. Very good. All right, brother Ariya, all right? This is uh, Sirach 27, verse 3. Unless a man hold himself... Uh, let's go... Hold on, Salakia. Yep, yep, all right. Unless a man hold himself diligent... Hold himself diligent... Uh, diligently, Salakia. In the fear of the Lord, his house shall soon be overthrown. Woo! You see that? You see that? She's not going to reverence her husband because he's not rooted. And we all know that some of uh, you know some of these uh, these cackling beasts are not going to reverence their husband no matter what. Okay, but if you can't get your house in order, 
And it's all through the spirit of Yahweh about Shimei and Shah, man. Saints of Jersey, too. The wicked, this is uh, Proverbs 12 and verse 13. The wicked is snared by the transgression of his, of his lips. See, death and life and the power of the tongue. But the just shall come out of trouble. Ooh. Okay. Let's read this right here. Saints of Jersey, a foolish woman is clamorous. What does a clam do? It opens and closes, opens and closes, opens and closes. She, she runs her mouth too damn much, man. Yelling and screaming, you know, even even though the laws of this land say that he can't do that. They do it any damn way. What are you going to do about it? Just agree with him. All you had to do is say, please, could you leave? And he said he's going to leave in a minute. OK, let's read it again. A foolish woman is clamorous. She is simple and knoweth nothing. OK, uh, uh, um, a mind well, well instructed, right? I wish you'd have got the, the rest of that right there. Anyway, let's keep going. She's not, uh, 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 she, she's not reverencing her husband. Let's go here. Proverbs 12, verse 10. A righteous man regardeth the life of his beast, which is your animals. Okay. All right. And his wife. But the, t but the tender mercies of the wicked are cruel, man. All right. He regardeth the life of his beast and his wife. He, you're supposed to have your house in order. Hey, man, that's my girl, man. <laughs> oh, Salakia, man. Hey, man, man, would you do that to your girl? That's my girl, man. Come on, man. All right. Verse 11. He that tilleth his land shall be satisfied with bread. But he that followeth vain persons is void of understanding. You see? Void of understanding. Verse 12. The wicked desireth the net of evil men. But the root of the righteous yieldeth fruit. And that's what we do daily. Do we not? Didn't the scripture say you will know them by their fruit and their works do follow them. Okay, let's continue on. You see, but these Jakes don't understand. They don't get it, man. You about him, y'all shy. He's the one that puts the blinders on you, man. The election has obtained it and the rest were minded. This is Job 4, 40 and verse 7. Girt up thy loins like a man. And I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. See, he said, gird up thy loins like a man. But hey, this dude, let's go back. What do you say? How do you say it? Let's, let me see if I can find the exact spot. Salakia, let's go back to this one right here. Okay. Listen, running that lip. See? Let's go back. See if I can find it. There you go. See? It's my girl, man. That's my girl, man. Come on, man. She has on her face on the screen on me in the car. What's she throwing you? What did she throw on you? Alright. See? Please, man, don't do it. Don't do it. You know? Hey, teach her. Teach her uh the scriptures, man, and how to be quiet, chill out, relax. You know? You didn't have to go that far. And now you trot it down like a mire in the street. With busted teeth and in jail. And it is what it is. Job 40 and verse 7. Gird up thy loins like a man. I will demand of thee and declare thou unto me. You better gird up your damn loins. What you going to do? First Kings two, verse two. I go the way of all the earth. Be thou strong, therefore, and show thyself a man. See that? And show thyself a man. You see? All right. Oh, that's beautiful right there on the comment board. That's some fire right there. Let's go there. Visit the comment board because I only got a couple more anyway. I didn't intend to make this long. And I hope this is edifying because that's what it's all about, man. It's feeding the sheep and having this being edifying. We want to get the hell up out of here. Damn this place, man. Chant it down every chance I get. I tell you that. It's Brother Aria. Okay. Isaiah 3 and verse 12. As for my people, children are their oppressors and women rule over them. Oh, my people, they which lead thee, cause thee to err, okay? And destroy the way of thy paths, right? What's the scripture talks about how they destroy kings, man, okay? Same brother, 1 Corinthians 16 and verse 13. Watch ye, stand fast in the faith, quick, uh, yeah, quick, Salakia, quilt you like a man. Ooh, be strong, hey, that's perfect, I love it. 
Kahalo Yaha Basham Yahushai. To all you brothers helping to feed the sheep on the comment board. It's absolutely beautiful. Let's go. Okay? Destroy the kings. You uh, let's see what you got. Uh oh, brother Aria is always on fire. He said goodbye. He kills me with that. <laughs> oh man, y'all some good brothers, man. I absolutely love the brotherhood. That's what it's all about. This is brother Aria Ecclesiastic uh, Ecclesiasticus, if I can say it right. Or Sirach 26, verse 14. A silent, a what? A silent and loving woman is a gift of the Lord. And there is nothing so much worth as a mind well instructed. You see? Gird up your loins like a man and instruct and instruct them on how they should be uh, behaving, man. I put up a video yesterday of a Northern Kingdom Eve. That's a, she's a school teacher and she going to school half naked teaching. I mean, come on, man. That's why we got to apply these scriptures, man. I mean, it's just it's getting it, the chaos society, man. It's getting ridiculous, man. Jeez. Wow. Verse uh, same brother. Verse 15. A shame faced and faithful woman is a double grace unto uh, 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 unto her uh, uh, content. My uh, Salakia. Uh, yeah, cont uh, continent mind cannot be valued. You see? You see, what, what, we do what are we doing here? What is this? Michael Green, what are you talking about? You see, keep up with the live streams are, are becoming rather impossible with the with the shadow bands. Yeah, I, I mean, I agree. You know, hey, Esau eat them stew, man. That's, uh, you can ask any brother on this comment board right now. They, they take down the videos. They do that. They lose the sleep. Because Yahweh Bashim Yahushua is putting these words in our mouth and it's destroying them. And there's nothing they can do about it. Michael Green, you see that? So we, hey, we gonna, as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Bashim Yahushua. Woo, let's go. All right, this is Colossians 2 and verse 5. Uh, for though I be absent in the flesh, yet I am with you in spirit, joying and beholding your order. See that? Your order and the uh, steadfastness fastness of your faith in Hamashiach Yahushai. You see? It's all right there, man. It's all right there in the scriptures. All right? This is why we apply. And, uh, verse, uh, verse 6, let's read this. As ye have therefore received Hamashiach Yahushai of the Lord, so we walk in him, rooted and built up in him. See that? He's the chief cornerstone, right? Rooted. And built up in him, established in faith, as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving, man. All right. Verse eight. Beware lest any man spoil you through philosophy and vain deceit after tradition, after the traditions of men, after the rudiments of this world and not after Hamashiach, Yahweh Shai. You see, we got to apply these scriptures. See? We got to apply these scriptures, right? Let's continue on. Yep, I got a couple more and I'll close out. You know, I don't want to make it too long. Hopefully, again, hopefully this is edifying. All right. And, uh, hey, and again, to you, Michael Green, hey, Shalom, Shalom. All right. This is Joshua 24 and verse 15. <clears throat> Salakia and verse 15. And if it seem evil unto you to serve the Lord Yahweh, choose you this day. Whom ye will serve, rather the gods which your fathers served. Okay, ooh, that's powerful. That were on the other side of the flood, or the gods of the Amorites, in whose land ye dwell. But as for me and my house, we will serve Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai. All right, and there you have it, right there. You know, I might close it out right there. I ain't got nothing else on the comment board. I don't think. You see, yeah, I, I do got the idea. Let's go. Let's get it. All right. Hey, this is Romans 12 and verse one. This is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I beseech you, brethren, there, uh, uh, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of the most high, that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable unto the most high, which is your reasonable service. Hmm. Verse two. And be not conformed to this world. But be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may pr uh, prove that what is good 
and acceptable and perfect with the most high. And that's beautiful, man. Hey, that's the lesson right there. On to the next one. Hopefully this was edifying. All right. And with that, give it uh, praise, honor and glory, all glory to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash, double honors to the elders and apostles, that great millstone of whom I learn from daily, healthy shalom to you brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. All right. DTA, Kwam Yasharala and Wa Abiba Ball. Boom. Shalom. Love you, brothers. Shalom.